Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Look what we're into today. The owner of three or four of these vehicles passed away about three years ago. His nephew has decided it's time maybe to try to sell some of them. He's agreed to show us around, tell us a little bit about the vehicles that are for sale, and tell us a little bit about his uncle and the history of some of these vehicles. So let's go in here and see what Robert's got. <laughs> what, you, <laughs> what you looking at there? Well, this is a, a 30 Model A that uh, me and my uncle took to the car show for years. Uh, and they passed away about three years ago. And uh, we got it out and cleaned it up. I, I let all this stuff sit for quite a while after he passed. And, uh, it's kind of hard to come in here, you know. We spent a lot of time in here together. Right. But, uh, we got this one out a couple months ago and cleaned it up. It's got a little dusty scent. Uh, he, he was really proud of it. And, uh, and we had a lot of good times together. <laughs> That's a, and then what year was it again? Uh, 1930. 1930. That thing's about as old as I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guess they've got the. Uh, he don't even have the antique tag. He put the county tag on. That's right. That's right. Okay. He drove it pretty regular. <laughs> oh, you can't drive it up and down the road with a. He can, but they, you know they limit yeah. you. Uh, okay. When you put an antique tag on. Okay. He kind of prided himself on the on the motor. That's what helped him at the show so much. He kept the motor as clean as a car. Uh, he certainly did. I know a lot of people like yourself know what I'm showing them right here. Well, that one's been, that one's been uh, converted over to a 12 volt system. You know, it's got an alternator now. It's not a 6 volt. It's okay. Got a 12 volt alternator. As usually when you get in these places, you get in a tight spot and it's hard to get the full view on the camera, but uh, is that the. That's just a, there's some kind of ID tag or data plate. I know, I know a little bit about him, but he, he was the expert more so than me. <laughs> Let's look inside this thing. What's the, oh, parking brake or? Yeah, that's the parking brake parking brake and okay. uh, gear shifter and the starters down here on the on the floorboard you got the accelerator to the left and the starting button to the right and then you advance your timing on the steering wheel to crank it it uh had to you had to move your hands a lot to crank this thing it, you're not just gonna jump in yeah. there and, and crank it up we don't worry about anybody stealing them because they probably don't know how to crank it oh is that the odometer like 2,094 yes, miles? Sir. Yes, sir. Wow. This thing right here. The time capsule. It is. And you said this one was all original. And I told you wrong, too. This one is a 6 volt. It's not a 12 volt. I apologize. Okay, that's all right. I was mistaken on that. It hadn't been. It's, it's still a 6 volt system. We had a 50 Cadillac that, uh, that we sold that uh, we converted it to a 12 volt. Right. But it does have a, a modern alternator instead of a generator on it. Now. Well, this thing right here is. That's the original? I believe so. Maybe a maybe a copy. Uh, okay. Aftermarket. That's the battery hatch there in the floor, you can see. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something? It is. It really is.
you there. A Cushman. Now you had told an interesting story about why your uncle. Go ahead. Well, he he uh, when he he grew up in Enterprise, Alabama, and uh, <laughs> and all, a couple of his buddies had Cushmans, and, and his his daddy wouldn't buy him one, and uh, they'd run off and leave him. <laughs> So later on in life, he decided he was going to have him a fisherman. He always wanted one, so we went up to North Carolina, and uh, he traded with a guy. This thing was laying in pieces on the floor. He probably had 40 of them, and he worked on them. And uh, so they traded on it, and we went back up there and got it a few months later. And uh, he drove it around the parking lot out here about, about three or four times, and, uh, and uh, it sat right there. And that, quite a history on it. and that was <laughs> that was it. But he got him a cushion. That's right. <laughs> he, he got what he wanted. Let's see. This thing's got 5,800 miles on it. Somebody rode it, didn't yeah. they? Yes, sir. It's changed hands a few times. Oh, okay. There, there's quite a few, uh, there's quite a bit of history in these books. We bought it from a yeah. up there in North Carolina, and uh, the uh. This thing got around a lot. It's got just books and pages and pages of history on this bike. Uh, here's some old magazines, club magazines. It's, uh, he's got manuals and, and notes and history on this thing all the way back to the, probably in the 60s and 70s. The Cushman Club of America. I wonder if anybody watching this that uh, was a member of that. If you are, leave us a Leave us a note. Leave us a message. Let's look at this. Since it's right there in front of us. That was, I guess, 2000? Yeah, so there's probably some old stuff. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is he had something done for $85. Yeah. Spend that much on three yeah. bags of groceries, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what this thing Boy, is. Boy, this guy. That's back in 21. Now, here's some old pictures of that bike that the previous owner took notes and, and whatnot. Now the man that his uncle bought this from is the one that had all his detailed records. I believe that the guy we bought it from bought it from this man. Okay. And his name was Dave. And David uh, Melchert is what it looks like. M-E-L-C-H-E-R-T. Mm-hmm. And uh, here's some, some uh, receipts from 2005, 2003. Now that's that's meticulously, he, he, meticulous bookkeeping, isn't it? He was, uh, he kept up with everything. He wrote down everything he did to it, and uh, quite, quite a, quite a log here of information. That is something else. Most people don't do that. No, sir, rare. they don't. But, and here's a picture of the guy. I think that's the. Right here. Okay. That's the gentleman that owned it at one time. <laughs> and this is the the bike. Yes. Okay. When it was restored. I guess he put some miles on it and yeah. then sold it to the gentleman <laughs> in North Carolina. And, uh, yeah. and this just, just got passed along. It wound up in Sampson, Alabama. Wound up in Sampson, Alabama because of my uncle's dream to have a cushion. Yeah. Because right. cause of all his buddies. That's right. That's right. Good story. Put your finger in that wire. I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. <coughs> Pull that right there. Like that. Let me oh. kick and you hold it. Oh, you can't kick good as I can. <laughs> about yeah. today. This is going to get funny here in a minute. You got a long. That's a heater, too. We don't need that. <laughs> it's 90 degrees right now. I smell it. Boy, <laughs> Yeah. It'll fire now. I know it'll Robert up here you had you're telling him about some 
you know, those are just various parts uh, that he collected over the years. Uh, just, uh, just all kinds of front end parts and carburetor part, generator. I see part. some. I see some pistons. Yep. He's uh, we got got a motor over here on the other side where Keith is now. Yeah. But, uh, I think come out of that thirty one over here. Now Robert thought there was, you know, kind of said there was probably a couple of thousand dollars worth of parts up there. Now for me looking at that, <clears throat> I would just figured it was some more of this, but. And the reason I'm showing you this, I'm going to leave you his, uh, Robert's email address. Because this stuff, he's going to sell, uh, both of these model A's. Both of these model A's. We've got one so far. <clears throat> and the Cushman. And the Cushman and all the parts that go with it. And I've got some extra bent spoke wheels that, uh, you can get a, a video of here in just a minute. The 31 back here we haven't looked at yet. It's got uh, bent spoke wheels on it, and then I've got a... There's one of these vehicles back here that's not for sale. Uh, the niece has claimed this little, this VW truck, but I was wanting to show it to you. And uh, before we got on this other one for sale, But your sister claimed this one, didn't she? Well, I mean, you know, it probably could be sold. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, anything can be sold. Well, I've always told people that. But it's, uh, Some things... It folds down on both sides, and uh, there's a compartment on the other side that goes all the way through here, so... And it is a what? Um, it is a Volkswagen. I believe it's a 69... Okay. It's uh. Oh, that is. They're they're pretty rare in the United States. Over in Europe, they're not so rare. They're they're kind of like the MC over here. Motor in the back. It uh. North Dakota. Runs good. It's, it's a good running truck. Not rusted out. No, I, I you, know, you can put it on the lift, don't you mean see it's not, it's been on that lift, it's pretty clean. I'd probably sell it if she wasn't at home. <laughs> Again. <clears throat> The email will be in the description below, and uh, you can email him, set up a time to meet if you're interested in uh, finding about the stuff. I'm not going to ask him what he wants for any of it. You'll just have to email him and, and discuss that with him. There's three, there's three, and I... All right, he was telling me a little something about this. We'll wait for him to get back. He's on the phone. Hey, <clears throat> Mama calls. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to Absolutely. And this one's a... Uh, this is a 1931 Model A and a sedan. And uh, it's got bent spoke wheels, improved head, overdrive transmission. It's got power steering. It's got F-150 uh, power steering column in it. And uh, it's, it's really fun to drive. It, it, you know, these Model A's, the, the fun wears off of them in about 30 minutes. <laughs> and, uh, but now this one right here, you can, you can take a trip in it. it it'll, it'll get out on the highway and run 65, 70 miles an hour. It's uh, really clean. Uh, Rarely did we take it to a car show and not win best of class with it. Most of the time we won best of show. But, uh, and there's proof right there. It's, uh, we threw away a pickup truck full of trophies. We just kept the ones that, that my uncle was most proud of. But uh, it's, it's a clean vehicle. Very nice. 
got uh, step five, got a spare tire with bent spoke wheels, white walls, and then I've got uh, two more bent spoke wheels over here in that box. Okay. That are black, can be painted. And your uncle had a hobby about the airplanes too, didn't he? You did. Say? And, and if anybody's interested in these model airplanes, a lot of this stuff's out of date. It's uh, old monologue controllers and and nothing digital. But I've got gliders and motors and props and, and all kinds of stuff. And that stuff can go. If somebody really take care of it and use it, I'd probably just about give it to them. Okay. Uh, Hopefully somebody will see this and. If they're interested and they, they want to come, they, they won't leave without them. I won't, won't have to have them <laughs> This is something to do with that? Yes, sir. That's okay. a controller for one of these planes. He flew for the Southern Company in, in the last part of his career. He flew out of Peachtree to Kev Airport in Atlanta. He was a corporate pilot for, okay. for the Southern Company. And he he started flying right out of high school and worked his way up through Winn-Dixie and Thompson Tractor to Southern Company. <laughs> so these were his hobbies. Yeah. He, he was uh, he was dedicated to his flight. This motor here, while well, it came out of this this Harley here, okay, uh, it only had like thirteen thousand miles on it. For some reason, it come apart at the shop. I took it to the shop and uh, got it cleaned up, and it was just sitting on a table running, and it flew apart. So we put a brand new S and S motor in it last year, and it's got about fifty miles on it. Okay. And it, it's also for sale too. All right, we're, we're too old to bounce. So I don't <laughs> want to get you. I uh, I know everyone. This other one was a two door. What Cooper? It's a four door sedan. Also. This is a, yeah. that's a two door sedan. Yeah. This is yeah, a two four. Door. I'm sorry, two door. This is a yeah. Door. Okay. Got suicide doors on it in the back. So. Look at that. Pretty clean on the inside. Yes, it is. Uh, <clears throat> start a situation to stain to it, isn't it? On the floor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Advanced timing on the steady column. And that one's got <laughs> a, a carburetor on it now. Okay. A modified carburetor. On it. Even got a first aid kit. That's right. Can't That's beat that. I don't have that. That's right. That's a bar. Just break you off. Just tear your arm off. That makes it. Okay. Well, there's this one. Y'all change that yourself? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This one's on a 12 volt. So. Okay. Well, here it is. Hopefully, this will give y'all kind of an idea. Hopefully, the lighting works out. I think the camera should. He went from a Cushman to a Harley, huh? He did. When he retired from the Southern Company, 
<laughs> he, uh, he decided he wanted a heart. Uh, so there it is. <laughs> this one got, uh, got eight, excuse me. Yeah, eight thousand seven hundred, eight thousand seven hundred and eighty-five miles on. That's what's on that uh, original motor, and then this motor that's in there now is an S and S. You know anything about uh, motorcycle engines or power plants? That S and S is uh, look a lot more horsepower than what came on this bike. Right. <clears throat> I don't, but I know the people that are interested in it. Does you know year model? It's a Here's any it's actually here's the paperwork on it. This was the first year they came out with this. This one right here was supposed to display all the uh options on that you could get on this bike. Right. And it was an anniversary. Tom Hall, a friend of my uncle's, knew a lot more about this. Right. But I'm gonna say it's a 2003. Okay. So uh, it kind of caught me off guard. That's all right. That's all right. <clears throat> and I know y'all heard it. Uh, Here's the back end of it. It's an Electric Guide Classic with uh, all the accessories. It's this, this model right here. Okay. And I'm trying to see what year. I want to say it's a 2003. It was the 30th anniversary. Uh, but this is one that, that they had in Atlanta that showed everything you could get on it. It's got all the bells and whistles on it. Okay. Now, did he buy it, do you? No, sir. He okay. bought it from a, an attorney up in Atlanta. Okay. And, uh, and I, I think it had about 4,000 miles on it. Okay. He drove it quite a bit. And uh, he just he really enjoyed it. Needs a good cleaning day. We lost Lester uh, three years ago, and uh, this place has sat like it is, you know, since he died. We just started coming in here. Okay. We spent a lot of time together in here. And it, okay. Uh, what well, the place I want to visit right off? I, I, I can understand that for sure. Been sitting in here for three years. But I know he wants somebody to have it that can enjoy it and, uh, instead of just sitting here going away. You know? Well, that's good. I'm glad to. I bet you this will tell you the year. That's his insurance policy. It's all right. It's right here to you. No, it's for 95, Mom. 95? Okay, well, I wasn't even close. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-five. I wasn't, but eight years off. <laughs> what? Sixty-seven, right here. Grandma used to make me walk to the boys' club, and then she'd come pick me up. Too. This been in the family. Wow. Called brand new, Columbus, Georgia. Well, wow. 14th Street Bridge. And a Cadillac dealership. I'll tell you what, they took care of it, didn't they? Yeah. I think it's got about 120,000 miles. Let's go to the other side. Now, we know this is not for sale. This is family, but I just wanted to show you.
Look at there. Electric. Look at them electric seats. It's got an automatic dimmer on the headlights, too. That was fancy back there in the day, wasn't it? It's cold there. It's got an aftermarket radio in it. Oh, okay. That's about it. I was going to show them my AM radio. Look at this thing. We got it over there in the shop. We took it out and put an aftermarket radio in it. Yeah, 12808. 128,089 miles. That's aftermarket. Cruise control. That was put in there in the early 70s. Well, that's a pretty car. Amazing what you see in people's collections. No. <laughs> well, well, if you don't think, I'll sell it to you. Okay. Well, you didn't name the price first. <laughs> so you left yourself out. <laughs> What year is this thing? 62. 62 model. It's got uh, 68,000 original miles on Old pan breather on Now I like this. Tractor with a truck body on it. Family too. Yeah. He bought that in Enterprise, Alabama in 1963. It was a demonstrator and it had 2,000 miles on it and he made him run it back to zero before he bought it. <laughs> back then, I guess it wasn't against the law. <laughs> well, it don't matter. He kept it this long. It was his, wasn't it? Wow. That was the old original There you go, people. Two original purchased vehicles in his family. Grandmama and grandfather. Wow. You don't see it every day. You don't see that. I don't see this a lot. I love that Coupe de Ville. Or de Ville. Is it a Coupe de Ville? Now is that just a de Ville or a Coupe de Ville? Coupe de Ville. Okay. This came with one spare tire rack, and Bub had an extra one put on the other side. So he did a little bit of modification to it. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Email Robert. He'll answer your questions if you have any questions about. Now, these two vehicles aren't for sale, but the other's in the garage. If you have any questions about them, just give him an email, hit him up on email, and he can, y'all can talk, talk about price, haggle it over, maybe y'all can work something out. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't be wild.